Hi year 10, so today for your starter we're recapping completing the square because a lot of you have forgotten this topic and it is one of the trickiest topics we do so as long as we keep refreshing it we're going to be okay so I have a quadratic here where I've got x squared plus 14x plus 5 is equal to 0 and I want to solve it using completing the square now in this box here I've got the completed square form x plus a squared plus b is equal to 0 and we want to get it into this form so we can then rearrange and solve really easily the most confusing part is how we get it into this form. So this may jog a few vague memories, but what we want to do is we want to make this part here equal to this part here. So we want x squared plus 14x to be equal to x plus a squared plus b. The way we do this is we can only get this 14x if we halve this coefficient and put it here because obviously if we have plus 7x plus 7x we're going to get 40x so I'm going to halve that coefficient and say x plus 7 all squared because I've halved that there if I'm to put this into my box here and say this is x plus 7 and obviously if I'm squaring it it's multiplied by itself so x plus 7 what I actually get is x squared plus 7x here plus another 7x here and 7 multiplied by 7 is going to be plus 49. Now if I add all of these together, I get x squared plus 14x plus 49. But I don't want x squared plus 14x plus 49, I just want x squared plus 14x. So what I have to do is remove this square here from this in order to make this part equal to this part. So if I subtract 49, all of this part here is equal to this part here because we've taken away this extra square here now i still have that plus five added on to that so i'm going to keep that there and that's equal to zero from this step i can simplify so i'm going to keep my x plus seven all squared the same negative 49 plus five is negative 44 and that is equal to zero and that is in completed square form already my a value is plus seven my b value is negative 44, and from this, I can then rearrange to solve. So I just want to have a quick look at rearranging to solve, just because there's a common mistake that people make. So I have x plus 7 all squared minus 44 is equal to 0. If I add 44 to both sides, I then get x plus 7 squared is equal to 44. I'm then going to square root both sides, and now this is where the common mistake is made, because obviously when we're square rooting, we're going to have a positive and negative root. And... We know when we look at quadratics, there are normally two solutions to quadratic. So these are my two solutions that are going to be given. I'm then going to subtract 7 from both sides. So I have x is equal to negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 44. And that is my two solutions to this quadratic.